Live from the Sands Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at AWS reInvent 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsors Amazon and Trend Micro. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for Amazon reInvent. Amazon Web Services, big conference. I'm John Furrier, this is theCUBE. It's our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal noise. Our next guest is Maureen Lonergan, Director of Training and Certification at Amazon Web Services. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John. Happy to be here. So, there's so much training and education here. It's like almost a university-like environment. Andy Jassy proudly saying on stage, we're not a sales and marketing event. Yep. We're about sharing a lot of information. So that's your thing going on here. Yeah. I mean, give us the breakdown. How much training? What are the sessions like? What's certification like? So we ran, um, over the last two days, we've run uh, 17 boot camps, training thousands of people across 17 different topics. Um, in addition to that, we have a self-paced labs room where we're delivering um, 50 self-paced labs and people can drop in and take um, either a service-oriented lab or a solution-based lab. And in addition to that, we're delivering um, you know, a lot, hundreds of certifications as well. So a lot of people are saying that the cloud eliminates specialism and actually you got to be more general purpose now in the enterprise. So one of our guests earlier was like, that's the big inflection point they're saying. It used to be, I'm the storage guy, I'm yeah. the network guy, I'm doing this. We're now in IT with cloud, you can do a lot of different things. Yeah. How does that change some of the certification uh, challenges? Um, just more, more certification? <laughs> is there a generalist kind of certification? Um, I think what the way we've looked at it is we look at um, three different roles within um, the cloud. We look at architect, operations, and developer. And whether you're a startup or an enterprise, it, you have different skills that are required. And um, so we've start, we started with those three roles and started to build out curriculum and certification to map to those. And as time has evolved, like on Friday we announced that we uh, launched a DevOps engineer. We're starting to see not only role-based, but things that really impact the culture and the change management of cloud. And so we've started to invest in developing classes and certifications that support that. You know, startups generally um, have been born in the cloud and, and have those skill sets. But as we move to enterprises, they're looking for us to help reskill their employees. So what's the biggest change in education? and certification, it used to be like, get your certificate, you're a Cisco, UCS, whatever, engineer. Is it similar now, or is there new things that are changing with how you go through that process? I think, um, I think learning overall is changing for everybody, but I think you know, we want to make sure, we, we at Amazon believe we need to um, support a learning culture within our, com within our uh, customers and our partners, and as such, we're building e-learning and instructor-led courses and labs so that people can take training when they want. People that with traditional sysadmin skills can transition those skills and we're working with enterprises to do that, but we want to make sure that we uh, develop the right content for them at the right time. You know, I was talking with Jeff Barr last night, who was chief evangelist, and he was the first guy doing it, he was blogging, yeah. basically. Yeah. So blogging was a big way to embrace the community, share information, certainly social media is about sharing. Do you guys weave anything social media into it? Is it all like just courseware? Yeah, we're starting to weave some social media. Um, we're starting, this actually at this event, we have a certification lounge. We're starting to bring our certified professionals together as a community and provide them um, with opportunities to meet with each other. And as we evolve in the next year, we're going to start to embrace that a bit more. Social learning is really, really important. And getting these people together to share best practices and ideas is, is really important. Is there a lot of online courseware? There is a lot of, we do have a lot of online so, I mean, courseware. You've seen that explode, people love to work online. Sorry? They love to work online, you've seen yeah, a lot of people yeah. doing that. Yeah, I think it depends, we, we adjust for every learner, right? We want to make sure that, you know, I think developers traditionally like to get it when they, when they need it, and you know, in other traditional roles, they want to be in a classroom, so we're making sure we make uh, our courses available in both mediums. Okay, so here's the real question everyone wants to know, what's the hottest tracks here at this show? 
That's a really good question. Um, I think anything. To I mean, do the with Dev, You know, I think the DevOps tracks uh, where they're talking about continuous innovation. I think it's the the highest rated ones. And which one is that? Just more infrastructure deployment, more developer? Is it more business? Do you guys mix and match the like the? We the do, yeah, it's mixed. I mean, we have 275 tracks, and I've been walking around. I don't know the numbers for every room, but it, I think it's it's. How many tracks? 275. 275. That's I think. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's a Where lot. do you find all the people to train these people? Yeah. <laughs> like, have a train the trainer like yeah. a seminar? Um, that well, must be we, use our, we, we recruit our subject matter experts to deliver those sessions. We want to make sure that we're giving our customers and our partners the content from the people that, that know the information. All right, so what's the craziest thing you've seen here at the show, or weirdest thing in a good way, in a good weird, like a, a, um, it's, it's been exciting? I've actually been surprised at how excited people are just to get these little buttons around certification. I mean, I, to be honest, I didn't think it would be so powerful, but people are very excited and they want to demonstrate their knowledge and I think it's great. And they like to be proud, kind of like show the, show the badge of honor. Yeah. Yeah. What's that booth you guys had taking pictures out there? Yeah, we do. We have a, a social media, as, as you come out of the certification, and when you've passed, you have the opportunity to, to take your picture and, um, uh, and post it, and Jeff's blogging about a lot of stuff. We've got roaming video around is that, the Is that kind of like too. a selfie? Yeah, it's totally <laughs> like a selfie, selfie right? <laughs> <laughs> People are into it, though. They love it, I know. so it's great. And you know what, it's a way for that community to connect, so it's great. Well, it's a natural sharing thing. Learning is a great group environment, and having online classes is good. I mean, I've noticed that like Twitter, and it gets very noisy, so like if you have a, an environment where you can pull people together yeah. and share in a very easily, not like spammy way, yeah. that's good on social media. But, but to learn though, you've got to drill down. And you know, there's been a lot of great startups, Coursera, a lot yeah. of like EDU startups yeah. out there. Are you guys tapping into any of that external or is it all driven from internal to Amazon? We are actually, we're partnering with a lot of uh, universities across the globe to get our content out there right now. And we're going to evolve that academic program and we're looking at other uh, big big MOOCs out there and figuring out how we get our content to those the people that are, are attending those organizations as well. So how do you what, how do you get involved? For the folks watching out there, what what should they do? Is there a URL? What's the onboarding process? How can they tip their toes in the water if they want to jump right in? Yeah, they can go to amazon.training.com and um, they can tip, we have um, free uh, labs available, free videos. Um, we have a lot of free e-learning available and depending on what they're looking at or where their skill set is, gives them an opportunity just to try it out even if they've never seen it. And then as they progress and, and get more interest, um, we have very prescriptive learning paths for them to choose from. So it's just typing in here, training.amazon.com? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, amazon.training.com. Amazon.training.com. That's a good URL, training.com. What is it? <laughs> oh, she got a clarification yeah. from the crowd? Training.amazon.com. Okay, www.aws.training. Aws.training. Well, you, no, no, this is the crowd. We, yeah. love, we love the input <laughs> from the crowd. Um, we just launched it, actually. We're one of the first companies to have the training, um, training as the lead. Well, I mean, that's how people learn. I mean, when they walk in, this is the one thing we talk about all the time on theCUBE, Dave Vellante and I, especially in like big, big data and DevOps, People are saying they're DevOps guys and they're not, and that offends the real DevOps guys, or I'm a data scientist, well, I'm, some people are like, well, you're just an analyst, or you're yeah. not really a data, so it's like a, it's sort of a blurring of the lines between, people want to start seeing, I hate to say being more credential, because that sounds elitist, but like, just some sort of filter yep. to differentiate. Yeah, and that's what we did with a DevOps engineer. I think, you know, we, DevOps is really, really is a culture or methodology, but if you go out and you look at the job sites, there's lots of people looking for DevOps engineers. I Googled it um, last week and there were thousands of jobs. And how do we help our customers identify people with those skill sets? And that's really why we're making the investment in, in educating people, you know, in those me uh, methodologies and, and validating them with certification. So I think there's a lot of excitement around that. Well, certainly you're getting the vote from the top of the company, Andy Jassy on stage, really yeah. pimping up the, the learning. And it, and it really is amazing. I'm seeing lines waiting, yeah. you know, get there 30 minutes if you don't get in front of the talk. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean it's hardcore. It's exciting though. It's, you that know, means the active community. Yeah, it is, definitely is. Maureen Lonergan, thanks so much for joining us on theCUBE here. Breaking down the training, the certification, real mass rush 
They're charging the, the, the training banks, if you will, to get trained up. Um, and if you look, probably looking for more trainers, how do you onboard more trainers? Um, yeah, we, like anyone, we, uh, we interview the best in the industry and then we, um, we have a very thorough authorized training program that we put people through. We spend months ramping them up. We want to make sure that um, that they're true evangelists, really, for, for Amazon, and that they're able to help our customers with their requirements. And they got to be subject matter experts, they got to be fluent in the material, too, as well. Definitely, probably... and it's, you know, it's a, um, it's an agile environment, and things keep iterating it, so it's really critical that people, uh, the trainers that we hire, are really comfortable in a learning culture, because they're required to get updated every single week. So the people that are motivated and driven by that are really the most successful trainers yeah, that we yeah. have. That's awesome. Well, yeah. training's very important, obviously, in emerging markets like yeah. cloud. You got a shift and an inflection point yeah. happening at the same time. Yeah. It's pretty powerful. This is theCUBE. We're extracting the signal noise. Maureen Lonigan right here inside theCUBE. I'll be right back after this short break. This is reInvent, live in Las Vegas. <laughs>